Hey everybody, welcome back again this week to the video podcast. I want to continue on from last week. I have a few more things that I want to show you in God's Word. Is it necessary? Is it important for Christians to fast and pray? Yes, it is. The Bible says that Jesus said in Matthew chapter 6 that when you fast, when you pray, when you give, he expected his believers, his disciples, to fast and to pray. Last week I told you how important it was so that you could let your flesh be crucified and you can overcome things that previously you may not have had the authority to overcome, but how fasting and prayer gives you that authority to overcome things that the enemy tries to do in this earth. This week I want to show you something your flesh has to be put under. And Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 27, that he has to put his flesh under daily so that even after preaching to others, he himself might not become, the King James says, a castaway. But the word there actually means a reprobate or a sinner. What he was saying was, it's important that I control myself and control my flesh. Otherwise, even though I'm a preacher and have won all kinds of people to Jesus, I could still find myself on my way to hell if I don't control my own life. The Bible says in the book of Galatians chapter 5 and verse 17 that your flesh wars and is at war with your spirit and so there's an internal war going on in your life your fleshly man is always fighting against your spiritual man your flesh pulls you towards the things of this world but your spirit pulls you towards God who determines who wins that fight well it's how you take control of your flesh by fasting and prayer it subjects your flesh to the authority of God and that is the key now When you fast and pray, there are some things that happen, according to the Word of God, that are supernatural. Fasting unlocks supernatural things in your life. In fact, if you want to look in Isaiah chapter 58, the Bible says, and God's speaking here, is this not the fast that I have chosen? Number one, to loose the bands of wickedness. If there's anything in your life that's keeping you bound in wickedness, fasting and prayer will break those bands off of your life. Secondly, to undo heavy burdens. If you've been living under a heavy burden, maybe depression, anxiety, fear, something mental, maybe it's been something uh, physical, the Bible says fasting and prayer will loose heavy burdens off of your life. Uh, Thirdly, to cause the oppressed to go free. Oppression is of the devil, not of God. If you're oppressed today, the Bible says fasting and prayer will even break oppressions on your life. And every yoke will be broken. Hallelujah. I like that. Every yoke will be broken. It doesn't matter what the yoke is. Maybe it's physical. Maybe you're battling sickness and disease. Maybe it's mental. Maybe it's something that you're battling in your soul. The Bible says that every yoke will be broken. This is the power of fasting and prayer. It keeps you in a place of supernatural power. And that's what I'm looking for this year. Supernatural increased fruitfulness for the kingdom of God. That's why I encourage you to take some time at the beginning of this year. Fast and pray. Get into the presence of God. Listen to what he's saying. Receive fresh commands and be blessed. This is a year for you to be fruitful for the kingdom of God. No matter what last year was like, this is a new year and God's going to use you in a great way when you dedicate yourself to his kingdom. Don't forget, signs and wonders and goodness and mercy are following you for the rest of your life. I'll see you again next week.